Hey everybody, welcome back to Hacker Doodle's channel and today I have another Dollar Tree haul. Um, this is a separate one from what I did last time. Um, I actually went to two different ones. I actually went to the first one because Pretty and Flawed had hauled these notebooks and she gave me one of them <laughs> in my front mail. But I couldn't help resist it because they were so beautiful. I might as well go ahead and show you now. So let's get started. These are the notebooks that she, this is actually the notebook she had hauled in or actually she showed it on Instagram. I believe she did show it on her um, video and then she showed Instagram all the other kinds and um, the one that she gave me is this one but I already picked this one up I think these are absolutely beautiful I don't know something about the shimmery and the sunset it just made the it just makes it pop it's so pretty I have no use for any of these notebooks but I can't help but they're beautiful it just reminds me of California and these would be good to get out to my mail I don't know who but I got the ones with the surfboard I picked them all up at the store that she had told me about and then um, this one with the um, guy on the surfboard holding the surfboard and the guy on his car with the surfboard. Very cool. So I picked up all four of these. I just love them. I don't know what it is. Something shiny about them just spoke to me. I really just wanted them all. <laughs> I'm crazy. I did pick up more of these notebooks. And it's actually not for me. I'm actually giving these out for his friend mail. I thought these are pretty. These are not new. These are pretty. I think these are pretty old. They have like the little tags, uh, different tabs on them. I, they're just nice to leave like stuff, but I don't really need this for myself. I thought these are cute. Um, since we're there, I had picked up. I've seen these before. Other people have hauled these, but I haven't seen this one before. And this again is not for me. It's an actual calendar notepad with the little. Um, you can pull out the papers. Kind of reminds me of the real estate agent ones you get for free when people give them to you. But these are prettier and it's pink and there's a magnet and you put these on your fridge so I'm just, this is also giving up to somebody from Fred Man. I also picked up this Snoopy book I know I have a couple of these but I've never really hauled them in the past um, but I just go ahead and pick this up because it has the cute stickers in it I absolutely love them I have like two or three other ones I can't remember but I know I didn't have this one because it was purple and I don't remember seeing Snoopy like that but I just like them because you know it's Snoopy I have to get it so a couple of baby things that I got were I know people are sent, sending me over some CeraVe rash cream. I know a couple of you and I want to thank you for finding them for me. I know Jamie is sending me some. Coretta is sending me some. Pretty Flawed already sent me two. And I forget who the other but um, I don't need any more, so letting you know. But I did find some, so I now know how this is how this is. And I could go ahead and use and try this on my baby. But regardless of what it is, it's CeraVe. CeraVe is a really good brand. It has uh, ceramides in it, and ceramides, from what my dermatologist tells me, is like the closest to your human oils, which is why she had, um, recommends it. So that's why I've been so crazy about looking for CeraVe products. So I found one. I also picked up more of the Pampers uh, wipes. I know I said I'd probably get the one out of 20, but I bought both. I don't know why I, didn't, I couldn't choose between the two. I just bought them both, even though one has two and the other has two less than the other. But I just picked them up. I'm always needing them. And I know people have sent them to me with their friend mail gifts, like Rhonda has sent me some. I forgot who else sent me some baby wipes. Oh, Jocelyn has sent me some in the past too. So they're useful to always have. It's always good to have them, like the boogie wipes. The last thing I got for the babies is I found more kid socks. I thought these were so cute. They have the ones that look like shoes. Of course I had to buy them because they look like shoes. And these are for six to 12 months, still too big for my baby. But you know what, they might not be. I mean, especially if you use them now and you dryer them, it might work now, so you never know. It's always good to have the socks though. So that's it for the babies. I found more tissues, like gift tissue at this one Dollar Tree, the new Dollar Tree, and of course I had to get them because they were kind of cool. They had the one with the swirls and the red, and there's only eight in the pack, so it's not really worth it, but I just buy them anyway. They have the banners, and it says celebrate all over it with the banners, so. I know some of you guys really like the banners look. Everybody seems to be wanting those washi tapes with the banners on it, so if you're looking for those, that's good too for tissue. This is Happy Birthday with some um, musical notes on it and the green line. And then this um, pinwheel ones, they say party and celebrate on them. I thought this is absolutely cute. Um, I bought, I found a sunglass clip holder. I know I have a white one, I didn't have a black one, so I just found this. And this is the last one, so I picked it up. Uh, I bought a couple of USB chargers. Um, it's always good to have them in your car, just make sure you bring your wire with you. So I bought a couple of these. I bought a black one, a red one, black, red, and white one. 
I'll probably give these out to my mom and have a couple. It's just nice to have different colors so you know which ones you're missing. Um, picked up an LA Colors Auto Eyeliner. I told you guys about my eyeliner thing where I, if I can't find a sharpener or if it's not sharp, I just buy a new one. I did buy the Bonnie Bell one. I absolutely dislike it. I hate it. It has glitter in it and it hurts. So I wasted money on a Bonnie Bell one. You gotta make sure it doesn't have any glitter on it because when they have glitter, they just scratch your skin. And I don't know why anybody would want one with glitter on it. So I hope this works out fine. Let me know if any of you guys have used this before. Uh, I picked up this Color Mace Lip stick lip liner pencil I thought that was kind of interesting I bought the one with the ruby red and then there's like this I thought oh there's a lip liner it's really dinky tiny one but it's like white so I don't know how this works I don't know if any of you have tried this before let me see what it says here it says the color mates lipstick offers long lasting rich color for beautifully luscious lips the color mates lip liner defines and perfects the shape of your lips so the directions say as follows it's the lip liner pencil to create luscious lips Start with a lip liner and apply it along your lip line. Lipstick, follow the matching lipstick. Follow with the matching lipstick. If it's supposed to be following with your matching lipstick, it doesn't have the same color, so I don't know what that color one is. But let me know if you guys try this one because I thought that was odd. And the last one I picked up was this Blistics Orange Mango Blast. I don't know if any of you guys have seen these, but I, there was a whole like strip of these, and I thought that was kind of cool. I'll actually keep this one because my husband does like you know, these type of brands. He doesn't really like the flavor ones. I'm not sure if he'll like this one. His favorite so far, I've had the Soft Lips Vanilla Mint for like years and I keep it in my purse and he still wants it all the time. So I know I should just buy him that one, but whenever he asks for lip balm, I just give him that one and he likes it. So I just picked this one up to see if he likes this lipstick. Okay, I have some stickers to show you. I'm not sure if some of these I've had in the past, I'll let you guys know. Um, I know I've done some of them. Are, I'm not sure if they're new anymore, but I know these, been out for a while and I've seen them before I just never really wanted them until I kind of got into them like, well they're really really pretty let me just pick them up and they are the colorful these like um, vintage looking um, stickers everybody's been hauling them I just keep getting them for myself and I picked up the ones with the birds I thought that's pretty they have like cute little they look like little tags to write stuff in if you wanted to they're still pretty and then um, the ones with the birds couldn't help it so I picked it up. I bought more of these, more of the glittery pink ones. These are probably going out for the spread mail. I don't need extra of these. And then I saw, okay I'll show you this one first. Um, not sure if everybody's been hauling these. Let me know if you guys seen these before. It looks like I've seen them before in the past. I just don't know because there's been so many stickers. Oops. Um, let me know if this has been around, but I just found these at the store and there's 22 sheets of the 22 stickers on this sheet. Last one I picked up is this, uh, crystal one. Everybody's been hauling the crystal ones. I even got a couple today, but I got this one. I didn't pick this one before, but I thought they were so funny. Look at the little people inside the, um, airplanes. I thought they were cute, especially the ones with her, with this one, with their big old eyes. I thought they're funny. I don't even know what that is. It could be a worm for all we know, because there's like other animals in it. So I thought that's hilarious. And there's a little, there's a dog on this one. I really, really like that one. So I picked that one up. And then of course I bought more bins. I think I got all the colors now. I'm really, really, really happy about it. It's actually right here. Cause I still haven't really put them away so from before. And I have orange one I'm using right now. Um, I don't know if there's a white one, but I do have a dark blue one that I, that came in the past because I always have this one, but I'm just, I don't know why, I just love when I see vibrant colors of bins. I can't help picking them up and you should just see my floor right now. It's full of like colorful bins. I did get some, um, I was going through my, our stuff in our safe, it has like our passports and all that stuff. And then I realized there's a whole bunch of like our, our marriage certificates and the baby's birth certificates and all those papers just seem to be all in a mess and I really wanted you know I wanted to fix them all up so I thought I'd pick some of these um, folders and I found these with the swing clips I thought these were kind of neat to have so like I could leave one this could be the baby stuff and then you just kind of hold them in place in this little folder here and then you just swing the clip over to keep them there just want to make sure I don't mess it up so I got this one I got quite a few colors this is the only one with the textures on it when I made it it's the black one the green one 
I need it a little different from that one. It's just, it's just white and clear, so it has that same. Um, the blue one and the purple one. Nope. So it's all that there. I also picked up this um, snap closure, and there's two of these. Um, let's go open these because I always saw these, and I always saw this design, and I always thought, we're getting one for that price, and I thought, it says two, so I want to go look at the other back design. So, okay, that's pretty. This one's the flowers. You never get to see that background in this pink one. And they're just pretty thin closures, you know, just to, if you want to bring them with you, you have something to protect them in, though they're very flimsy. I did, and here's more baby items. I totally missed this part, but I just bought more hangers for the baby's clothes. I've been accumulating so many baby clothes. People have been sending me baby clothes, so, um, I wanted to hang his stuff and I just bought a dark bluer one and a, a light blue one and there's six in the package. Jessalyn from me and my Nookie Climber was talking about she had to pick up some orange ones and I found some green ones. So girl, I might send you these. I, I owe you, I'm going to be sending you a package so I wanted to, I might get you this because you said you're back, your uh, kitchen's blue and green so I'll send you one of these. <laughs> so keep that in mind, don't pick these up, you have one coming your way. Infinity scarves. Um, there was quite a few, but I just chose these two colors. I kind of thought these were really pretty. And I do have, I wear a lot of coral. I got a new coral purse for my birthday. So I thought I might as well get something that matches right, you know, to go with it. And I do love these bright colors and the bright pink. So I bought these two. And then I also bought this um, tubby bin. I'm going to use this in the bathtub for my, my baby. And the last but not least, I thought these were so ador adorable. I kept. I wasn't sure if I wanted them, and then um, because when I looked at them, they're not painted really nicely. So when I found some, I kind of went through them. I got the little bobble heads for Halloween. I, I've always wanted them. I know there's a pumpkin, and there's also a skeleton. I was gonna buy the skeleton for my husband because he's an X-ray person, but I don't know. It's kind of creeping me out. So I just picked up these. He is my favorite. The little, the little um, Frankenstein dude. He is so cute. And then I got the guy with the mummy with the little spider on its head. And this is Boo and this is Eek. Eek. And you know, it's really hard because I hate it when the paints, they, they paint them so horribly. But you know, I can't complain because I do have acrylic paint. I could repaint them myself and I'll probably likely do that. It's just so that it looks a little bit more neater. Especially the purple Eek. That's all I have for my Dollar Tree haul. Um, today is Saturday, tomorrow, maybe, I'm not sure if I'll be going there, but I might be going to a Daiso tomorrow because I might be seeing my mother-in-law. We might. So, um, if we do, I'll probably go to, to Daiso to go pick up a couple things there. Most likely for friend mail, but hopefully I'll find some new items. Also, I forgot to mention, I do have a P.O. Box. My P.O. Box is going to be Hecker Doodle, uh, P.O. Box 941, Bonita, California, 919808 dash zero nine four one um i'm hoping that you guys are still looking out for your homegrown badges i'm gonna go ahead and show you mine uh, i did buy more but i haven't used them but i'm still looking i was still hoping you guys were still finding stores at your you know at your local dollar tree if you're finding any of yours um go ahead and send me just one strip if you do pick one up you know i you don't have to send me the whole box i'd love it for you to send me the whole box but i don't want you to have to go pay for extra packaging just to send me a box of bandages but just send me like one, I'd be so happy. Um, what you can do is if you send it in my, to my PO box right on the outside of it, just say it, it's home run bandages so I can keep it together. I don't want to open it yet. If I get accumulated a couple of envelopes, I want to open them all up on camera and just kind of show it. Like I got this one from this what person. It's just, and then I like go ahead and open it and show it everybody. I know that sounds crazy, but I just kind of think it's kind of cool that you know, you'll get your bandages from your city or from your hometown and it just seems kind of neat to can I have a couple of them just to know where all my subbies are coming from and it just seems really nice so that's it for for this video um i hope you like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you again next time Bye bye